Here we are at another skills exercise. This one is a circuit that has two outlets and then it moves on to a switch and a light. This actually is building on another exercise that we have that's simpler that is just the switch and a light. What we're gonna do is to add the outlets in in line with that circuit. So we're building on that circuit. We're doubling the complexity of it. If you check your plans, the first page is covering an overview. This shows us in perspective what we're building. You see four boxes, you see the cables routed, and then you see the devices that are getting installed and the positions of those devices. The next page is giving us a simple schematic that's routing all of the wires. We can follow each wire to each end and which device or other wire that they're connecting to. The next page is going to give us other information like electrical symbols that are going to represent the devices that are going in. It's also giving us some general notes that we can apply. For instance, 14 to wire, that's in our general notes. So we know that whenever we're using cable, we're going to use 14 gauge and it's a 14 two. The last two pages are showing us, wait a minute, two, three, four pages are showing us close-ups of each junction box. So as you work through each box, I'm going to start at the beginning of the circuit and then work to the end. Each one of these close-ups are going to give you the details to get you through each wire-to-wire -wire or wire-to-terminal connection. So let's go ahead and do that here in our mock-up. What I've done here is I have a lot of this work already completed. I've set my boxes, four boxes set 12 inches up from the bottom. I have all my 14-2 cable routed in, and I have a wire running in, that's my feed, and then I have a 14-2 cable running uh, from one box into the other box, and I have some extra so that we can work on our devices, then pack them in at the end. These wires here, I've already stripped the jacket. I'm gonna strip the jacket on these wires, and then we'll get down to prepping the wire ends for the devices. So I have my two outlets connected. We had to use pigtails to hook them into the main cables that are coming in and out of the boxes. That's key for these installation. That puts them in line with the circuit, but separates them. Now we're going to move on to our switch box where we're going to put a single pole switch in. And last, at the end of the circuit, we're going to have a light that's operated by our switch. So that completes my circuit. That's four devices. And let's do a quick review. I've got and uh, one outlet and then outlet number two, they're hooked in line with this circuit, but they're separated by pigtails for my ground, my neutral and my hot wires. The power is traveling through these boxes then to my switch box. This power is broken by the switch through these terminals in the off position and it's going to send power to my light socket at the end of the circuit with the light turned on. Don't forget that you have a pigtail for your ground wire for your switch terminal here, the green switch terminal. And also don't forget that we do not use our ground wire unless you have a green terminal on your uh, light socket. So in a nutshell, that is our circuit. Make sure that you have all your connections tight. Now you're ready to test.